Hi everyone, would you like to be anonymous? When you surf the web, well then proxy chains is for you. I'm gonna discuss that today. Being anonymous on the web, especially when you are pen testing, is something that's very important. And uh, proxy chains can be set up in Kali Linux, which we're gonna do here. Um, let's just understand proxy chains in general. They're essentially a combination of proxies that reroute a TCP connection to any server. Now we're gonna use different protocols, HTTP, HTTPS, SOC4, SOC5, making the connection secure and making it nearly impossible for an observer to figure out looking for up online. Through a very secure chain of proxies, proxy chains serve an in-between the source IP and the endpoint IP, it does conceal your identity. And most people mistakenly believe that VPNs are safer than proxy chains. However, the reality is that DNS leaks are more common in VPNs, making them less secure than proxy chains. So let's go ahead and set this up using Tor. Okay, so we are installed. Okay, but it's not running. So if you're getting this output, that means that your Tor is um, on your system, just not running. So let's say you had to install. Okay, so you want to install the, you want to do ATP dash get install tour okay. <clears throat> and at that point once you have that installed at that point what you're going to do is you want to start the service okay so it'll take a little bit longer if you are installing the tour okay so let's go ahead and start Tor. So we're going to type in service Tor. And this time we are going to type in start. Okay. And you will then see the prompt. Now you're going to go back to service Tor. <clears throat> status okay and it's telling us it is active <clears throat> we want to then configure the proxy chains so if you want to stop the tour service then you're going to do service tour stop all right Pretty simple, straightforward stuff here. So after installing Tor service, now we need to configure the proxy chains. So to do so, we're going to use the command nano. You can see I already have that in there. Okay, so nano space etc forward slash proxy chains dot conf. Okay. Then we're going to get a screen, which is a blue screen, such as this. Okay. Now for the part that I want to mention. Now, I have recently used this. Okay. However, when you get yours up, assuming that you haven't used your tour, you're basically going to have comments in front of everything. All right, so you're gonna have comments in front of dynamic chain. Now we're using dynamic chain, which means each connection will be done via chained proxies and all proxies chained um, in the order as they appear in the list. So we're gonna use that one. Therefore, I uncommented mine. Okay, now this is important. Otherwise you're gonna get an error 
and then we're going to scroll down and you want to uncomment. So in other words, you delete the comment sign, which is that number looking sign there. For those of you who write code, you'll know that the comment in front of the line represents, excuse me, the number sign in front of a line represents a comment. And basically that's overlooked then by the program when it's compiled. Okay, so proxy underscore DNS. Okay, you wanna make sure that that is in white and the TCP read, which may very well already be uncommented. Yours is most likely just going to say socks 4 and then have this number here, which is localhost and the port of 9050. So what you want to do is you want to add socks 5. So you want to write this in. I already typed mine in. You want to write that under here and that is it ladies and gentlemen now you want to click control nx okay and that will typically give you a prompt if i didn't make any changes so i'm not it's not asking me if i save to, to save i should say but if i made changes it's going to say, would you like to save it? And you want to go ahead and obviously click yes. At that point, it saves it and then it logs you up. Again, in my case, I didn't make any changes. So therefore, it is not asking me that. So All right, so let's do proxy change space, Firefox space, duck, duck, go. And then there you have it. So once again, if you plan on browsing the web, definitely know that this will take some time. Um, doing a search and something like DuckDuckGo, um, it is going to come up fairly fast as opposed to something that has various amounts of different images and so on and so forth. But I hope this helped so that you have an idea of how to set up a proxy chain in Kali Linux and then go ahead and browse and then I'll do another video on some of the typical errors that you'll get when you set this up and it's not connecting it's not working and those are pretty common so all right I want to wish everybody have a wonderful weekend and I uh, look forward to making the next video take care